Just who was Hari Singh Nalwa? And why is he called the most feared warrior in Afghanistan, the builder of the Sikh empire, and the most gallant of Sikh generals of his time? Here are 10 facts about Hari Singh Nalwa. Some well-known and some may surprise you. But after learning about the Punjab military commander, we'll let you decide just who Nalwa truly was. Number 1. The Birth of a Warrior Hari Singh Nalwa was born in 1791 in Gujranwala in the Maja region of Punjab in Pakistan. He was the only child to his father, Gurdial Singh Upal, and his mother, Dharam Kaur. Both his grandfather and father served in the Indian Army. Hari's father was a Risaldar, or mid-level rank in the cavalry, and he was also a Jagirdar, or feudal lord, over the small village of Baloki. Hari's family of six belonged to the Sukhachakya Misul, a region of the Sikh Empire, who were renowned for their bravery and belligerent attitude, and whose ancestors stood up to the Persians, Macedonians, Huns, and the Ghaznavid Turks. Number 2. The Hard Knock Life Hari's grandfather was killed in action long before he was born, and his father died when he was seven. So, Hari and his mother had to move back to her parental home to live under the care of her brothers, where he learned Punjabi, Persian, horseback riding, musketry, and swordsmanship. Feudal lands were typically repossessed by the state upon the death of the Jagir Dar, but sometimes they were passed down to the male heir. So, after her husband's death, Hari's mother had to fight off attempts to seize their land until Hari reached the age of 12 and was able to manage his father's estate. Number 3. His Rapid Ascension to Power At the age of 14 in 1804, Hari's mother sent him to the court of Ranjit Singh to resolve a property dispute. The prince asked about his background and learned that Hari's father and grandfather had served his father and grandfather in the Indian army. Then, after Hari demonstrated that he was a skilled horseman and musketeer, the prince hired him as a personal attendant to the court. In less than a year, he was promoted to Sardar, or chief, and was given command over 800 cavalry and infantry. Number 4. The Origin of His Name Why was Hari Singh called Nalwa when his father was Gurdial Singh Upal? He earned the title Nalwa due to an incident that occurred just as he began to serve in the military. Supposedly, this incident is also the reason for his rapid promotion from attendant to chief. During a hunting expedition, Hari was temporarily separated from the hunting party, and a tiger attacked him and his horse. Though his horse tragically died, Hari single-handedly killed the tiger and earned the title Nalwa, or the one with tiger-like claws. How he killed the tiger is disputed, as some historians state that he killed the beast with his shield and dagger, or short sword, while legend has it that he fought the tiger with his bare hands and broke the cat's jaw and tore it open. Number 5. A Lifelong Commander Hari served in the military for 30 years, during which he either participated in or was in command over 20 major battles. And the first battle he independently commanded was the Battle of the Sialkot at the age of 17. Until his death, he played a key role in the expansion of the Sikh Empire, which grew to be the 19th most populous country in 1831. He is almost solely credited with expanding the empire beyond the Indus Valley and all the way up to the Khyber Pass, a feat that no man had managed before. At one point in the early 20th century, a British newspaper asserted that had Hari Singh Nalwa possessed the resources and the artillery of the British, he would have conquered the East and extended the boundaries of the Sikh Kingdom to Europe. Number 6. Characterized by his resilience The highly skilled and victorious commander had his fair share of close calls and seemingly hopeless situations. From his first battle in 1807 at Kasur until his last in 1836 at Jamrud, each battle had odds favored against him, 
but it was his wit and better understanding of warfare tactics that won him his victories. Most notably in 1821, as Hari and his 7,000 infantrymen were leaving Kashmir, they requested passage through an opposing tribe's territory. The chief would not grant passage unless they paid tax on all the Kashmir goods and treasure he was taking with him. The Battle of Mangal ensued, and the young commander found himself against a force of 25,000 tribesmen. However, despite being greatly outnumbered, Hari Singh Nalwa came out victorious. Number 7. His fearsome reputation preceded him. Many of his battles were against the Afghans, and he quickly earned the reputation of the only man who struck terror in their hearts. The most famous example of his terrorizing power was the occupation of Peshawar in 1834. It is said the Afghans simply fled the city, and Hari occupied Peshawar without having to engage in conflict. Bonus fact, the terror he instilled in his enemies lasted long after his death. It is said that for decades after he had passed, the youth Suvzai, or Afghan women, would frighten their children into obedience by saying, Keep quiet, Hari Singh is coming. Number 8. His Legacy as Governor In 1819, the Sikhs captured Kashmir and ended the five-century-long Muslim rule in that area. In 1820, Hari became the governor of Kashmir, calmed the turbulent areas, and reformed the civil administration. Criminal activities were controlled and suppressed to a great extent. Hari's administrative rule covered one-third of the Sikh Empire as governor of Kashmir and eventually Greater Hazara and Peshawar. And, like his father, he became a feudal lord and went on to become the wealthiest Jagirdar in the kingdom. He was also an architect and had designed at least 56 buildings, including ramparts, towers, temples, mosques, gardens, and even entire towns. He built all the main Sikh forts in the Trans-Indus region of <laughs> Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, and most famously, he planned and built the town of Haripur, which still exists today as the prosperous agricultural and industrial area of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa in Pakistan. <clears throat> Number 9. The Hari Singhi One of his first notable acts as governor over Kashmir happened after the devastating floods in 1821. To help alleviate the misery of his people, he provided immediate relief, and to honor the young governor, the Prince Ranjit Singh minted a coin in his name, known as the Hari Singhi Rupee, which circulated until the end of the 19th century. Number 10. Death During the Battle of Jamrud in 1837, the great Sikh commander, sustained fatal injuries, but how he died remains disputed today. Some historians state that after the Sikhs successfully repelled an Afghani attack, Hari and his men pursued the assailants outside the fort, but he was struck by two bullets, one in the side and the other in the stomach. Other historians state that he received as many as four gunshot wounds and two saber slashes across his chest and he continued to issue orders as before, until he was struck by one final bullet to his side. However many times he was struck, historians agree that he managed to ride back to his camp lest his troops be discouraged, and moments before his death, he ordered his men not to release the news until reinforcements arrived. Because of this tactic, their enemies did not attack the fort for a week, unsure of Hari's presence inside. Eventually, reinforcements did arrive, which caused the Afghans to flee back to Kabul. Even in his death, Hari successfully defended the empire and prevented his enemies from ravaging the northwest frontier. Although considered a Sikh victory, the loss of Hari Singh Nalwa was as costly as a defeat. Thank you for watching Ancient Military History and 10 Interesting Facts About Hari Singh Nalwa. Did any of these facts surprise you? amaze you? Or change your opinion about the Sikh commander? Let us know in the comments below. And if you liked this video and would like to see more, please subscribe and leave in the comments which ancient military leader you'd like to learn about next. Until next time, thank you and have a wonderful day.